Well, with just a couple days before the holiday, there is no question that snapping a 10-game skid would certainly be a great early present for this Oregon State squad. Tonight, the defending Pac-12 tournament champs welcome in the defending Southland regular season champs. It's Pac-12 basketball presented by Pacific Premier Bank as the Beavs welcome the Nichols Colonels to the Willamette Valley. Great to welcome you inside Guild Coliseum, everyone. Alongside Dan Bolomini, I'm Ben Creighton. And Dan, Wayne Tinkle said it best during Pac-12 Media Days a couple months ago. This Oregon State squad coming off that Elite Eight run may face some tough losses while trying to overcome some adversity. As a coach, how do you really ride the ship and try to overcome these early season struggles? Not easy, but what you have to do is you stay positive, you work hard in practice. This Oregon State team has talent. They have to find a way to finish games and win. Now, if there is one bright spot for the last couple of games, it has been the lights out shooting from Jared Lucas, one of the top three point shooters in the conference right now. Well, Lucas has been unbelievable. You watch Jared in his game. He's a tremendous perimeter player. Look what he's done over his last three games at 50%. By the way, 12 of 24 coming off of a big, big game against Texas A&M. So I think Lucas, definitely the catalyst to this team. He has to come up big tonight. Now, if you want to continue on the theme with three-point shooting, look no further than what's on the opposite bench for this Nichols Colonel squad. Ty Gordon, now the three-time Southland Conference Player of the Week, for good reason. Gordon's a tremendous player, and, and, and certainly someone that Oregon State's going to have to contend with. Gordon's a guy that can make threes. He can take it to the rim. He's strong. He's active. This is going to be a very difficult game for Oregon State. They're going to be. They're going to have to have an A game to win tonight. This will just be the second all-time meeting between these two programs. The Colonels won that first matchup 28 years ago. The Beavs, they desperately need a win tonight. Lineups and the opening tip from Gill coming up on the other side.